everyone, welcome back to the Corgi Sun channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I built this clothing rack right behind me. Now, as you guys can see, I've converted into a plant rack instead. So right now, as you guys are probably all bored being at home uh, because of the whole COVID situation that's been going on for more than half a year now, a lot of you guys have became plant owners and connoisseurs like me, except no connoisseur, just a plant owner who's just trying to manage a whole crazy nursery here. <laughs> so this is what the finished product looks like over here. I'm gonna have to show you guys the rest of my apartment because we have more than over 40 plants here at the moment. I know it's been really crazy. It's a new obsession that I have right now. We'll have to do a separate video for that. So comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing all the plants that we have in our apartment. Okay, so bear in mind, I film the earlier portions of this video way before COVID-19 uh, lockdown happened. So it's gonna look pretty different. I look different. My hair, you guys can see like my hair is like completely grown out now. My roots are crazy. But yeah, enjoy. And <laughs> my initial intentions, as you guys can see in the beginning of the video, was to build a clothing rack. But I think maybe I'll have pictures of the clothing rack. I thought it looked okay in my room. It kind of looked a little bit messy. And I think the plant, it looks so much better. Do you guys agree? Plant, yes, yes, much better, better than clothes, yes. Thank you so much for watching this video and good luck watching this tutorial because this was sort of a pain in the ass to make, but not too bad. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be building an industrial shelf that I saw on YouTube video. So I'm gonna to try to make it, uh, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna to try to make it look pretty. We're gonna do a more different style uh, where we're gonna spray paint the pipes, the metals. I don't know if that's even doable, but hopefully it is, or we'll see. We'll see, this is gonna be like DIY trial thing. If it ends up to be horrible, then we're just gonna be stuck with a horrible shelf. We're at Home Depot right now. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, it might be overly exposed, but we are at Home Depot right now. But first, we are gonna eat some McDonald's because it's four o'clock and I'm really hungry and all I ate today was a Chef Boyardee. And the completed shelf will look like this. And hopefully it looks good. I don't know, we're proving into the future and hopefully it looks wonderful. All right guys, we're gonna eat really quick and we'll see you at Home Depot. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, you're probably better off buying everything off Amazon. Well, almost everything. Later I found that most items were cheaper to buy on Amazon. So if you wanna buy things from Home Depot, I'd recommend buying maybe the two long pipes, the spray paint, the wood stainer, the applicator, and the wood board from Home Depot. Just make sure you do your own research and compare prices in your area. Oh, okay. Two hours later, or maybe even three hours. So we just got back from Home Depot and it was a fucking nightmare. I don't recommend this project to anyone. La 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 la. Hello, this is future me. Okay, so Home Depot was sort of a nightmare. They didn't have a lot of the items in stock. So hence why it was a nightmare. <laughs> Plus the wood board listed in the YouTube video that we watched had the wrong dimensions. A two foot by four foot piece of knotty pine. But it's okay, we figured it all out. The board should be four feet by one foot by one inch thick. Again, I recommend buying most of the items online, such as Amazon, because it's easier. For the items that I recommended buying on Home Depot, I recommend purchasing it online first for store pickup, especially during these COVID-19 times. Ugh. Anyone else miss going out? FYI guys, I found this way before the lockdown in mid-March. So if you guys are wondering what's going on here right now, ha <laughs> ha ha! Well, the audio somehow fooked up. So I have to do the voiceover for this, which is okay, not too bad. So here I am with my knotty pine wood. Yay, look at these little knots right here. Next, we need these two. Dark wood stain and poly, a wood stain applicator, or you can just use an old rag if you have one. Okay, so I don't know why I'm touching the applicator like that. It must've been really soft or something. We're gonna put the wood stain on it and then we're gonna slowly stain the wood. This is actually one of my favorite part of this video. Paintings and anodyne that I highly enjoy. I don't know, I look so enthusiastic here, don't I? Yeah, there's probably a better way to put the paint on the applicator, but that's how I did it. Dunk and apply. Next step, I'm gonna spray paint these items. Four T converters, four flanges, six 90 degree elbow connectors, eight close nipples. With the exception of the nipples. Ooh, I love that name. I purchased two of these Rust-Oleum metallic all surface paint and primer in the copper rose. You can choose whatever color suits you or you don't even have to paint it because the dark metal that Best Dress used looks great too. I currently just have a predilection for copper tones right now because it's really pretty. 
So I'm going to be spray painting our metal buddies here. The beautiful flanges, girthy elbows and the tees, the skinny stripper poles. I absolutely recommend doing this outdoor and lay down the soon to be painted items on some scrap paper or maybe cardboard boxes. I do regret not using enough scrap paper as you guys can see here because later as the video progresses, you can see the paint getting on the floor. Wah, wah. Now I'm going to go back to my wood plank and add a second coat to it. Or maybe this is a third or fourth coat. I think I did it more than two coats because I just want it to be a nice, beautiful, solid, espresso brown. <laughs> so I came back here. I'm doing the strokes again. Yes, that looks fun. Stroke, 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 stroke. I don't know. Something about this is just so freaking relaxing. I can do this all day, I think. Well, probably not because the way that my body is positioned, that will probably be bad for my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, on to the next day. Well, actually, not the next day. It's actually going to be a week later. Want to be shy? Yeah. Steve can sit with me. Hi, Steve. How are you doing today? Hey, so welcome back to... This is going to be a, uh, a week later from when I saw you guys last. Um, so I left my shelf stuff outside for a whole week, and I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> So luckily it hasn't rained and the weather in LA is pretty good. So we're gonna go outside and check on it right now and hopefully it's all in one piece and it's probably super dusty because it's super polluted in LA and the, it's always dusty outside. Ugh. All right, oh, Steve says hi, by the way. Hi, hello. Um, oh, so quick uh, update on what we did this week. I just wanted to you know, talk about it in this uh, video. It's just really random. Um, but this week we got to go see a Nier Symphony. It was really cool. Um, if anyone knows, um, Nier Automata is a game that was made by Square Enix. And it was really awesome to see it live with live music and have a singer there too as well. So that was really cool. Yay. Okay, so random update over. Steve just went away. All right, guys, let's go. I'm gonna take you guys on. Oh gosh, I mean, I think it looks fine. Put my shoes on, because it's super dusty. Oh God. All right, so these are my pole. My poles, oh good. Okay, they stuck a little bit, which is fine. Eh, it's not too bad. Eh. Okay, poles look good. My wood looks gorgeous. Although I have to be careful though, because I feel like, um, it's not really sanded fully, so I definitely got splinters touching the edge of it. And let's check out all of our... Yeah, I think these look pretty good. Can you guys see? There's a corgi right there. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, and here's my audio getting muffled up because my microphone got stuck in my shirt. Essentially what I'm saying, we're gonna wipe everything down because everything's dusty and I'll be right back. Okay, little Cheryl can come outside now. He's super nosy. Hello. You can come outside now. All right, so I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna take each one and just dust it off a little bit. I mean, I think for the most part, they're pretty, it's pretty good. Get your butt out. Come on, you don't need to smell anything. <laughs> He's like the nosiest dog ever. He always wants to be included in everything that we are doing. He's just very, um, I don't know, just a very curious dog. Yes, it all. All right, now we're gonna take the poles and do a little bit of this. Oh, yes. Polish that pole. gonna go back inside. Hey, mister, are you helping me build this? All right, here's what we have. So I think the paint looks pretty nice. Um, there are some nicks on the poles, which I'll show you guys, but I'm not a perfectionist, so I'm just gonna leave it. I think the wood looks really great as well. And I think the colors go pretty well. I wasn't really sure what wood would go well with this like rose gold copper color, but I think it looks pretty nice. Over here we have our sexy screws. Oh yeah, look at these screws over here. So I actually think I bought these from Amazon. Uh, it might have been cheaper than Home Depot, but just double check the online prices and you can cross check that. Oh wait, here are the Home Depot ones right here. So yeah, these are from Home Depot. I think they're pretty cheap though, so eh. Oh yeah, and I put the screws in here because I just want to double make sure that they fit and it's not going to be too small. 
Oh, these are the wheels that I got from Amazon. I think these were kind of pricey, though. Um, to be honest, the wheels don't really matter. You can barely see it. So we have our threaded pipes over here. Threaded meaning, see how at the end right there? Picking it up right now. Um, I can screw that easily into the T's or into the elbows. All right, so these over here are my closed nipples. I'm not really quite sure why they're named after that, but I do like the name, quite fond of it. And then over here, we have the elbows. These are 90 degree elbows. And then lastly, the T's. Oh, I just zoomed over it really quickly. Oh, am I going over there? Oh, yes, I am. Here are the T's over here. <laughs> so we got our T's and these again have been spray painted. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the flanges. Well, here are the flanges over here that we're gonna put the screws in and it's gonna be the base uh, connecting to the wood. So I'm gonna lay everything out so I can get a visual of what it's gonna look like and what the end product will be. Uh, just wanna make sure that I have all the pieces and everything's gonna look a-okay. Cause you never know what's gonna happen when you build these things. I have bad luck. So we're gonna start with the base and this is what it's gonna look like at the finished product for the base. We have the 90 degree elbows, the flanges, and the close nipples connecting all of them together. Now I know it might look a little bit funky since the close nipples aren't the copper tone, but to me, honestly, it looks all right. It doesn't look that bad. And remember, you're gonna be making two of these for both sides. They're gonna be a little bit hard to twist to get it straight, but you just gotta really just pull as hard as you can. Get someone strong to do it if you can't do it yourself. <laughs> but you can do it, I believe in you. Okay, so the video says to get the middle bar, and I guess we're gonna add the, the T pieces first. Just screw it in. <laughs> Hopefully the spray paint didn't, it's not gonna make it hard to screw this all in. Seems easy enough. Okay. Twist it extra hard. All right, now that we got that done, it's nice and tight and secure. We're gonna get the top bar and attach the, the elbows to it. And we're just gonna screw it on in. All right, guys, now here's the headache part. Honestly, the hardest part of the video. You're gonna be pretty miffed about this next section, so get ready to destroy this thing out of anger and rage. I'm just kidding, don't do that. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. How am I gonna explain this? All right, let's start. So I built this going, starting from the base on the left side, I went clockwise. So I started with the base, added that pole in, then added the T, middle bar, the right T, the other leg pole with the base on it at the end. Just so this right here is going to be very tight, okay? Now this is the next part where it gets a little bit tricky. And here's why. Do you see these side poles right here? The one on the left, the one on the right. Now, if I were to screw in the top bar, the top vertical bar in, into the elbows on the left side and the right side, making the top very sturdy. So now screwing the poles in, well, uh, so yeah, this doesn't really work because as you're screwing the pole in, the top part is going to go clockwise while the other one goes counterclockwise. So do you guys get what I'm saying? The bottom one is tightening while the top one is loosening, making the sides kind of not steady, which is not good because the clothing rack is pretty freaking tall. So we did a different method than best dress. And we, as in I bothered Dennis for help because this was super freaking flimsy. So what we did was after we're done with the base right here, uh, we decided to put the poles on the left side and the right side, the top two poles, because we want it to be really tight and sturdy. Didn't want it to be wobbly. Afterwards, we added the two T's at the top. And again, this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. Now the middle bar, just like the sidebars, when you screw it in, one side's gonna screw in while the other side slowly starts loosening and screwing out. So yeah, that's the trade-off right there. At least the sides are very sturdy and the middle bars are, you know, they're a bit loose, but it's okay. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. Uh, we're gonna put the wheels on the board first and then we'll put the rack on top of the board just so it's not like, like when we're trying to put the wheels on the board where it's already assembled, we're like, it's like turned over on its side and, and all weird and shit. So I think this is gonna be an easier route. We'll let you know. Ah! I'm gonna flip the board over. Ooh. Oh, this is what it originally looked like. Whee! Gonna make sure the wheels, when it turns out, it doesn't show from the top angle down. 
Is it Steve approved? Yay! Uh oh. What do you think? What do you think? Look at that, Steve! He's gonna try to lay on it. It's not a dog bed, okay? You can't lay on it. <laughs> this part probably needs to be pulled more this way. That needs to be pulled out more. Corgi approved? Okay, we are done with the shelf, finally. Um, it's not like the sturdiest of sturdiest, but this is like the, as sturdiest as we can make it. And it's actually really freaking big. I didn't really realize, well, I should have realized because we bought the poles and everything, but this is actually really big. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna take up my entire wall. Could do the limbo in here. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> So guys, the shelf is completed. This is the finished product right here with my plants hanging on it right now. And yes, it's been months since I built this shelf. So my hair is very different now. I finally got my hair done. Uh, as you guys can see, we have different plants behind the background. I have some my pothos here, my string of hearts, my birdness, and it's uh, completed. Finally, months later, we finally have this video out and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions, just leave the comments down below and thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a very long journey since we've begun this project. Hopefully we can do some more home DIYs in the future. I would love to do some videos about my plants because we have so many of them in the apartment right now and I don't know where to organize them. They're all just kind of cluttered at two polar opposites of the apartment right now. So I need to figure out how to organize them and where to put them and then maybe reorganize the bedroom, even though we're gonna be leaving in a few couple of months. So we'll see if we're gonna do that. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed, and catch me live on twitch.tv slash corgi summer two ways where I do play some video games, some cooking streams, and regular IRL stuff. And you might get to see my corgis on there as well. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next video.